Hey guys, I'm Nisha Homi. Today I'm sharing a quick and easy Kerala style brinjal roast recipe, ideal as a side dish for rice or for roti. So let's get started with the recipe. I'm using about 500 grams of brinjal, which has been harvested from my organic backyard garden. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim off the edges and then slice into strips. Okay, now I have uh, sliced the brinjal into thin strips like this. I'm heating my cast iron pan with one tablespoon wood pressed coconut oil. Once the oil is heated, reduce the flame to the lowest, add in half onion sliced, saute the onions until they are transparent. Once the onion is transparent, I'm adding in a couple of sprigs of fresh curry leaves, one and a half teaspoons whole red chili flakes, Red chilli flakes you can increase or decrease as per your taste. One third teaspoon turmeric powder and give this all a good mix. Add in the sliced brinjal, half teaspoon sea salt or as needed and give this all a good mix. Once nicely mixed, cover and allow the brinjal to get cooked. Two to three minutes later, open the lid, give it a good stir. Also note that I am using a well seasoned cast iron tawa, hence the brinjal will not stick to the tawa and it will get roasted. Another thing to be noticed is that I am using a cast iron Dutch oven. As you can see there are some spikes on the lid. What happens is that it traps the moisture and through the spikes it will release into the dish. So this way there is no need to add in any extra water. I'm going to cover it again and let it cook for another two minutes. Remember the flame is on medium low. Another two minutes later, open the lid, give it a stir. To give this an added color, I'm adding in half teaspoon Kashmiri chili powder. Give it a good stir. The brinjal has now been cooked thoroughly. So I'm going to roast the brinjal without the lid on low flame for another four to five minutes. When you're cooking in cast iron, the dish gets cooked really fast because of its high heat retention. Also note that cooking in a cast iron helps in better iron absorption. So if you have iron deficiency anemia, do try to cook at least one of your meal in a cast iron cookware. So I'm going to allow it to roast for another four to five minutes. Two minutes later, give it a good stir. Another two minutes later, give it a stir. Turn off the flame and my brinjal roast is ready to serve. Transfer the brinjal roast to a serving dish. So guys, do try this healthy brinjal roast and let me know in the comments how it turned out. Thank you for watching and until next time, take care. Bye-bye.